Hey everyone, um, the next video after I do sort of a big uh, video like I've done with the, the, the response to Thunderfall always seems to be a, a bit of a letdown, at least in uh, the, the views uh, uh, side of it. It just seems to me that a lot of people must like drama, but I don't think many people will be interested that much in this video because it's going to be about art and uh, it's a discussion that's been going around, around on YouTube the, the past uh, week or so. A lot of people have had... Um, um, their opinions on it. It started with their uh, Nicotine 2, I think, so uh, pretty much trash and all modern art. And um, this is a, a subject that, that I am interested in, so I thought, you know, I'd add my tuppence, as it were. Um, first off, I, I do want to say that um, for anybody out there, don't let anyone ever tell you what is or isn't art, okay? Um, anything can be art, really. Uh, I, I, um, I look at uh, cars and I can see art, I can see beauty in them, you know, um, I I look at a, an Alfa Romeo 8C, you know, the, the brand new one, and I see uh, one of the most beautiful cars that I've ever seen, you know, you, you could, to me, you could hang that up in a frame and call it art, because it's, uh, the, the lines, beautiful flowing lines, um, and the, the overall look of it is uh, an incredibly beautiful, a beautiful, an incredibly beautiful thing to uh, behold. Now I am kind of a, a an art traditionalist, uh, if you could call me that, um, which I just did. Um, I, I'm probably with the uh, the vast majority of people when they think of art, you think of the Renaissance. You know, you think of uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo and all the other uh, Ninja Turtles. But as I said, you know, I wouldn't call anything um, that can be considered modern art not to be art because you know art, just like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. You know, it may be uh, an amazing piece of art to someone else, um, but that's to say that I sometimes I don't feel the same way. Um, but getting back to uh, the more more traditional art, one of the reasons I do like it and uh, why I'm so interested in it is, is because it's it's not o I not only like the art, I not o not only like the way that these people represent the world. It's because I also love the history of it. I like um, I like seeing the uh, how people saw themselves or how people saw uh, certain things back you know four or five hundred years ago I like to see how life was uh, centuries ago I like to see how they how they viewed the world how they viewed uh, the animal kingdom how they viewed uh, God and uh, you know the, the religious practices that they had back then so I'm kind of like a history buff as well so if you combine art with history uh, it's it's uh, pretty obvious that I'm going to like uh, you know Renaissance art but that's not to say that there isn't modern art that I don't love, and I'm going to list off some of my pieces. Um, I am quite a, a, a surrealist when it comes to modern art. I do like um, René Magritte. I hope I, I pronounced that correctly. Um, he, he's a, a Belgian surrealist uh, artist, and he did a, a very famous painting called The Son of Man, in which is um, a, a person uh, wearing a suit and has an apple in front of his face. You've probably seen it. It's a very well-known painting. Uh, probably one of my favorite favorite paintings of all time. Um, I do love uh, a couple of works by Dali, um, especially uh, Rose Med Meditative, Meditative, and um, especially the uh, Christ of Saint John on the Cross by Dali as well. Um, uh, an amazing, an amazing painting. Um, and I also like um, Night Hawks by e Edward Hopper, which is probably one of the most um, copied and parodied uh, paintings of the last hundred years. But I do love the original, and I, uh, it is one of the reasons that I do like the the style of the 1940s. I do like the uh, the whole the, the whole Art Deco style, which is one of the reasons uh, why I like the the computer game Bioshock, uh, because it's set in uh, this sort of uh, 20s, 30s, 40s Art Deco style world, and I love the design of it. But that's another video. But also, there is some modern art that I don't like. But, but still, even then, I still wouldn't say it it wasn't art, because as I said it's in the eye of the beholder. It's it, it's an entirely subjective field. I remember um, uh, it might have been in the Tate Modern Gallery. Uh, this person, uh, an artist, uh, for his uh, his or her uh, exhibit, put a, a crack in the ground. Now, to me, I just I I, I don't see um, why people would would applaud that. You know, it, to me, that doesn't take any thought in order to come up with. You know, things like the uh, the, the the Sistine Chapel, which which is to me is absolutely stunning and probably one of the best. Um, art pieces that, that has ever been uh, created by man um, and again like I said the uh, Christ of St. John on the Cross by Salvador Dali you know these things they, they the, 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 these paintings the, they take time and they take thoughts and they, they take effort they take a, 
uh, a massive amount of uh, patience and um, talent in order to come up with these uh, amazing paintings of and to me this this the, the crack in the ground it, it, it doesn't to me it's like um, lowering the standard of talent in the art world um, to me it, you, you go to an art exhibit you know you want to see people with unbelievable talent things that things that you could never do in a million years things that you look at with um, just a massive amount of awe and admiration you know it's just like if you want to um, you go to a, a football match or something just to, uh, you know for a, an example uh, you want to see talented people play you know you, you don't want to see people um, you know who couldn't score a goal even if the ball and the goal were magnetized you want to see the best of the best do what they do and to me you, you don't see that with things like the the the, the crack in the ground and, and various other um, uh, modernistic arts I, I look at um, uh, exhibits like that and, and I don't see I'm not struck with uh, wonder and awe uh, uh, or amazement. I'm not seeing. I'm not thinking to myself, "This is uh, an artist at the, the very peak of their uh, of their creative process." I'm thinking, "This is some person who's thought up, um, you know, a, 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 not a great idea of uh, putting a, a crack in the ground." And of course, the whoever this artist was, uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me um, they, they probably have some sort of a philosophy behind the uh, the, the the piece. But I just don't look at it the same way as I would uh, the other uh, paintings, just like the um, or pieces that I have listed before. Now I I, I know a lot of artists to try and um, alter your perceptions, trying to uh, make you think um, outside of your your normal the normal confines of your uh, everyday routine. But to me, th th this doesn't do that. It, it, it's not it's not something that. I would say was be um, and if you'll excuse the pun here groundbreaking I would never say not to do it you know any any sort of um, the free expression uh, contributes to society I think it's just not something that I would queue up for hours to go and see it's not something that I could stand in front of for you know 20 minutes and just think wow and, and just try to take it all in just try and look at all the different things that the artist has, 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 trying, has, has tried to do but again I'm not saying it's not art you know some people may think it's it's one of the best pieces of art of the last uh, one of the greatest pieces in the last 50 years you know I, I'm just not one of those people that think so but hey we've all got an opinion and this this, this just happens to be mine um, see I, I told you that the next video after a drama video like the Thunderfoot response is, is a bit of a letdown so I apologize it, it's a bit it's a bit rambly um, but I, I, it's, it's, art is something that uh, I, I am very interested in and I do like to uh, look at different things even if um, sometimes I don't think they're that great anyway um, uh, I better leave this here before I ramble off into oblivion um, cheerio